five of our movies. Um, me, I think that the movie that has to be the the number five will be Back to the Future because it's a, an amazing movie that I remember that I used to watch when I was younger. Uh, I think that it's amazing because it talks about the future and and innovation and all that stuff. But the part that I don't like is that the special effects uh, seem to be like fake. They are very old, so I disagree about that. I know that the movie is very old, but it doesn't matter. I think that it's amazing. So what is yours? Uh, the last movie in my top five list will be Forrest Gump. Uh, uh, what I like about this movie is that it influences you to give you your best in the life, even the, if the circumstances are hard to get through. And also, the story is kind of awesome and inspiring. And what I don't like about this movie is that um, it's very long, so you can get bored in some parts of the movie. Um, well, in conclusion, I would say that this movie is kind of monotonous. Movie in my top four, it, I think it will be a horror movie because I love that gender of, of movies. I love to feel to be scared and stress and that feelings. Uh, so well, it will be the concurring because it's an amazing story. It's supposed to be real, so it's very terrific to to know that that kind of facts can happen to you in your life. I don't know. And what I don't like about the movie is maybe the cast. I mean, it, it is not so bad, but I think that it could be better in some actors, and I think that's all for, for that. Uh, for me, the next movie will be Pursuit of Happiness. Like, I like that it's like real, heavy, inspirational, but it's not at all cheesy. It's very funny at some parts, but be prepared to some serious drama. And in no way it's a cliche or a control biter or boring. Uh, what I don't like that is obviously sounds like the classic American dream, so it's very predictable, predictable since the beginning. Okay. okay. The next movie, the number three, I think it will be a bit of mine. Uh, uh, at first, I love the, the movie because it was about engineering, about math, and all those sciences that are quite like math, but I enjoy watching the stuff. Uh, what I don't like about the movie is that the ending, I mean, uh, when the half of the movie passed and the main character uh, goes crazy, he has schizophrenia, so it was like too weird for the movie and that was like the part that I couldn't enjoy. But the end uh, is pretty good, I really suggest you to, to watch it because it will teach you a lot about life and, and the goals that you can go through. Okay, the next movie for me will be Warrior. This is a very fight movie in which we don't want to see either fight or lose. Mm, that brings such complexity to the final showdown that hardly anything could stop it. It's a long movie that feels short, it's grabbing to release it. Uh, what I don't like is that it has some moments of power that push through a fake out the script and also I think that the cast of the movie has some actors that could be cha changed further because some of those acts better than the others. The last uh, movie in this top uh, I think will be uh, Inside Out because I personally love the Disney movies. They teach you a lot of family, about friends, about love, values, and all those aspects in life that are wonderful. And this movie is very, very cool because it makes you think about the teenagers. Maybe the, our parents uh, see us as like very rebels and like we drink, we we smoke and that kind of bad stuff, but well, the movie is like very cool and very, um, well, it's good. <laughs> okay, and I think that we should uh, see this like aspect or this different perspective of the of the persons because we feel different when we are 
having troubles in 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 their team part. I don't know. <laughs> and what I don't like about the movie is that maybe they are, that is very sad when you when you watch the the girl having a big troubles and it's very sad for me so that's maybe the part that I don't I, I like the most okay for me the next movie will be the Lord of the Rings the return of the king it's a perfect epic um, there is no first step the battles are incredible and the character is just great as ever uh, the script, the characters, the landscape, and the fact that the language of the orcs and elves are both considered as real ones, for me is very awesome. Uh, another thing that I like is that the movie followed very precise the story of the book. And a few things that I didn't like were that some parts were unnecessary film, so I think those ones add some time to the movie that and make it longer. Now, number one, uh, I think that the best movie for me is the cutest one ever made and it's Lilo and Stitch, uh, also from Disney, because I think that, I don't know, it's the best movie from Disney, it is very cool and I remember when I was young and uh, I, I used to enjoy a lot that movie, I, uh, I used to watch it like twice a day, so it was very cool and uh, I really enjoy like the beach the characters because they are like aliens and that's very very cool and I think that it's the best movie at least for me uh, I also think that it's no bad things for, for the movie I think it's kind of perfect and that's all uh, for me this definitely will be The Lion King it is the best Disney animated film ever uh, the film had it all. It was fun, emo emotional, had family drama, and above all, great animation and songs. Uh, the fact that the movie is inspired in William Shakespeare's novel Hamlet is very cool and was a wise decision made by Disney. I really recommend you to watch this movie. It's very sad that the new generations don't have the opportunity to see since the childhood. So that's all, thank you for watching and to hear you our review and that's all for this. Okay.